Hi viewers, welcome to another episode of Cabin Chronicles. Today we have with us Mr. K V Deepu, who heads operations and customer service for Bajaj Alliance General Insurance. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Sumedha. Okay. Uh, so, sir, I understand that you have a vast experience of over twenty-five years in the financial services. Uh, can you just share with our audience what are the factors that made you stick to this industry and uh, motivated you to you know keep uh, be in the industry for such a long time? Considering today people look changes for industry very soon. Thank you. Uh, see, financial services is the backbone of any economy. Uh, it's you know it leads the rise in GDP. and uh, you know obviously all the benefits you know that come with growth across the entire population so it's been a privilege you know to be part of this journey and uh, also contribute not only to the economy you know but to the nation at large and i think that's what has you know kept me going in financial services and especially if you look at insurance now you know it's a very noble industry because you come to the aid of people you know when they need help the most and i think it's a glorious opportunity for us you know to have a careers you know in such fulfilling industries you know where it's not only for the individual good but it's also for the greater good so i think you know that's what has kept me going and in terms of the fact that which you alluded to which is you know the fact that i've just worked in two organizations right i'm of the firm believer you know that uh, loyalty you know and a long run of play you know really helps you make a difference so i think that's why just worked in two companies so far and you know why you know financial services and now insurance you know has been you know a huge driving force Uh, so sir uh, in the last few years that you have been in insurance how have you seen the sector evolving over uh, last decade or so i think there have been you know a lot of uh, very good you know positive uh, you know developments uh, one is you know an industry which was you know initially considered as you know lagging behind you know the rest of financial services right is you know today at the forefront thanks to the efforts of you know various uh, you know people you know involved in the entire sector Uh, today when you look at you know the government uh, you know you find a lot of pole shops you know are around you know insurance uh, you seeing a lot of you know reforms you know being carried out uh, the regulator has been uh, at the forefront our own ceo has been at the forefront you know in his role as the chairman of the gi council and when you look at you know the increasing awareness of insurance when you look at you know the fact that you know we're able to make a difference to you know so many people you know especially during the moment of truth you know which is claims i think you know the industry is set for super growth as india graduates from you know the from being a top 5 economy mm. to being a top 3 economy so i think you know it's clearly you know heady days ahead you know for the insurance sector true that sir uh, so sir you are someone who has been heading a uh, customer service for this organization for a while now and while we all use and know the term customer service but uh, how do you personally see customer service and uh, what is your perception about uh, this role from a strategic point of view sir See, I think for us, uh, what customer service is is very clearly defined by our brand. You know, caringly yours. Uh, we could also have had a brand, you know, which said India's favorite insurance company or India's number one insurance company. But the fact that you know we have chosen our logo, right, our go-to-market approach as caringly yours, you know, means that we really want to care for our customers, and uh, our talk is backed up by our walk. When you look at our uh, grievance ratio from an IRDA perspective. when you look at our net promoter scores you know which are conducted by an independent agency and when you look at our, otherwise you know at our reputation you know in the industry and even outside you know it clearly shows you know that we live breathe you know and practice you know this entire customer experience paradigm of caringly yours and i think you know that's what you know defines customer experience for us and even if you look at all our innovations or digital transformation efforts you know we always start with the customer right we don't want to latch on to the latest buzzword in town you know and then do something for the sake of doing it we'd like to really solve a customer problem or create an experience which which did not exist before and i think that's what drives us as an organization and i think that's why you know you're finding that you know our brand you know is so highly valued true sir i read somewhere that a good brand is able to understand customers latent desires and latent needs as well so i think that is what you are yeah i think when we say latent needs you know what we are alluding to the fact is that customers have stated needs and unstated needs yeah. stated needs are you know obviously easy to understand because customers have articulated them but i think the real difference you know which takes us from good to great is understanding customers latent unexpressed needs and we've done that time and again and that's going to be our endeavor constantly so that you know we can stay ahead of the game 
सर आई एम शो दैट योर रोल इज ऑल्सो हाईली डिमांडिंग एंड चैलेंजिंग सो वॉट हाउ डू यू मेंटेन वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस एनी हॉबीज दैट यू परस्यू टू इन्श्योर दैट ऑल द वर्क प्रेशर इज बैलेंस्ड आउट समवेयर आई थिंक टूडे कॉपरेट लाइफ इज डिमांडिंग राइट सो आई थिंक द वन थिंग विच कीप्स यू गोइंग इज पैशन I think when you have passion for your uh, for what you do, mm. you know it overcomes you know all the challenges you know that come with you know today's very demanding uh, you know lifestyle. So I think that's what you know keeps me going. Mm. In terms of uh, you know what are the aspects one focuses on you know outside of work, right? One is you know as most people probably know by now you know I have a passion for reading, right? I love to you know read and you know be on top of you know what's happening in our industry you know and even otherwise. Mm. So reading clearly you know is a hobby. Uh, also love to you know listen to music when possible because music i believe you know is food for the soul you know it can be a huge uh, you know source of motivation you know uh, at the time that you need it uh, you know also like uh, you know interacting with people you know as part of my role you know and motivating you know uh, various people you know to contribute you know their best for the organization so i think you know these are ways you know in which you know one keeps oneself going yes sir uh, true that music and reading are two habits which i also enjoy So, sir, asking more about that, any book which has left a deep mark on you? See, plenty of books have left uh, you know impressions because uh, difficult to you know single out you know any uh, you know any one book because uh, reading gives you you know a perspective you know by which you can learn from others' experiences and when people are able to you know crystallize you know their experiences into thoughts you know which are very well articulated you know it gives you something to chew on mm. and it also helps you. you know reflect on what you're doing why you're doing it mm. you know rediscover your passion rediscover your purpose mm. so i think there are far too many books you know and it's going to be very difficult to single out any one book you know as uh, you know as you know as as a deciding factor true that sir uh, even today when someone asks me which is my favorite book it becomes very difficult because depending on the genre depending on the stage of life the preference for books also changes absolutely. sir absolutely Sir, I have heard that you are a big fan of James Bond. So, is that true, sir? Are those rumors true? Well, uh, I was expecting this question. Of course, yeah. You know, my father was a fan of James Bond movies. So, you know, when he used to take me for Bond movies, you know, when I was, you know, a child, right? It obviously grows on you. You know, I've loved, you know, watching those movies. Uh, they're of a completely, you know, different genre, and uh, you know, it's, they've been very entertaining, and also, you know. so also sometimes you know good to you know experience these movies and then of course broaden your world view and also understand you know the world that we operate in you know and also pick up some life lessons along the way so yeah so it's been a good source of you know entertainment as well as you know education i would say you know from one point of view uh, so sir any favorite actor who has played the james uh, james bond role and you enjoyed it i think i loved you know uh, all of them uh, when i was growing up uh, you know it was roger moore and you know i used to love him you know at that point in time and of course sean connery was there before that who many people regard as you know as one of the best actors you know to have played you know the role of bond mm. and then you know after that you know you had pierce brosnan you know who acted in four movies he was also a very good actor mm. and even daniel craig you know he's been a fantastic actor so i think i loved you know each one of them yeah nice sir uh, sir also i've heard that you have a photographic memory so as to speak Uh, any incident any story uh, which uh, is related to this aspect and uh, if you have any memory of any of those stories sir yeah i think a lot of people tell me this you know that i have a very good memory uh, i think it stems from you know doing what you uh, like to do with passion because i have seen for example when one was studying you know the whole uh, you know guiding philosophy at that time to so study with concentration because when you study with concentration you are able to have better retention and i think when you work you know it's about doing it with passion mm-hmm. so when you do it with passion you know and concentration you know you are able to retain better one incident which comes to my mind is uh, when i was in school you know there was this quiz you know and the quiz master asked this you know about uh, three cities you know hosting olympic games and then i realized that the question itself was wrong so when i pointed that out to him you know he was of course you know a little embarrassed it was an awkward moment but i think he recovered from that you know and he kind of appreciated me mm-hmm. that you know it was the first time you know where Uh, you know instead of the responding respondent you know having to be corrected you know the question had to be corrected so i think that was one you know recollection i have you know where my memory you know uh, you know help me you know kind of really uh, you know get accuracy going and most as a child this must have been a moment of glory for you sir oh yes you know these are moments you sometimes remember sure. the very fact that i'm talking about it now you know after so many years means it must have registered you know as you know as a halo moment at that point in time yes 
टॉकिंग अबाउट चाइल्डहुड सर सो वी ऑल हैव सर्टेन इंस्परेशन और ड्रीम्स एज चाइल्ड फ्यू ऑफ देम मटीरियलाइज फ्यू ऑफ देम नॉट बट वॉट वर यूर एस्परेशन एज अ चाइल्ड एंड विच हैव शेप योर पर्सनैलिटी टू डे सर See, Sumit. I think if you look at most of us, you know, who come from middle class backgrounds, you know, in the Indian context of those years, uh, education was there was the sole passport to success. So I think we all focus on education, you know, in a big way, and therefore I think uh, you know, getting through uh, competitive exams, you know, and uh, you know, getting to the school or college of your choice, you know, that itself was, you know, was a feeling of uh, victory. And uh, in terms of some of the good habits, then because. there's always this question of you know the link between education and employment you know what you do could be very different from what you have learned Correct. but i think if you go beyond the content you know i think it's about the skills that you pick up right oh, okay. how to compete even as you cooperate uh, i spoke about concentration uh, use of data you know use of analysis you know going into depth so i think some of those you know point, some of those values you know which help me you know do well academically i think they stand me in good stead you know even when i'm in the uh, corporate sector also i think uh, you know a lifelong thirst for learning i think it's very important to understand that you know today you can't say you're an expert and that you are a know it all i think today we need to be we need to be learn it all you know i think we need to yeah so i think that curiosity for learning i think you know those are some trades you know which help you even in your corporate sector and even beyond beautifully put sir beautifully thank you and on that note sir just one last question uh, one piece of advice that you would like to give our young viewers who are just starting their career or are at least uh, you know in their college life and are looking for uh, career options yeah. i think it's a good question i think if i go back to you know my own uh, days you know as a youngster you know trying to find his way in the world i think two three lessons you know come to mind i think one is uh, important to have a good set of you know people you can talk to because you know people who are genuinely or well wishers because you can then take an informed view right because they have seen the world and you know there is no substitute for wisdom so i think you know that's one thing you know which people can imbibe the other is today the range of options is very high you know earlier people would talk about engineering medicine law mba and you know there would be a limited sort of set of choices today the world has opened up right i mean i have many friends you know whose sons some of them you know have become excellent chefs you know people who have got into sports medicine you know so there are plenty of options today so i think it's important to figure out what you want right up front and then you know zero in on the big ones you know and then go after them you know rather than keep your options till very late because you can't then become you know a master of none and a jack of all because that gets you going nowhere thirdly i think uh, you know while it's good to take advice from everyone i think finally it's very important to listen to your own instinct and gut everybody is born with a purpose and i think if we are able to relate to that you know then we are able to move into a field where our employment is a calling it's not just a job or a role and i think we are in our own ways you know able to fulfill our dreams and make a difference to the world at large so i think you know these are three pieces of advice i would give somebody and let's say if even i were talking to my own young younger self you know this is what i would tell myself this i think would certainly enlighten a lot of our viewers sir yeah, i hope so um, sure sir because uh, coming from your experience and uh, rich background that you have such advices obviously help youngsters because as you said we have a lot of options but uh, eventually we have to narrow down our choices and pick a career uh, that's it sir that's it for today thank you for your time it was lovely interacting with you thank you sumeda and thank you